Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Wok. The idea of Wok for 1000 came from my recent trip to the Philippines, where the social enterprise that ran the tour had their own organic farm that served the local community. I wanted to bring that concept back here, but really fighting food poverty. Plan Z heroes come every week to Borough Market to pick up excess veg from places like Ted's Veg and take them to local charities to cook up for those in food poverty. So this is Lauren from Plan Z. You come here once a week? Um, so we work with um, Ted's Veg uh, loads actually. So we do um, two collections, volunteer run collections um, a week. And we, they also put out um, their surplus food for about maybe 10 to 15 charities who collect a week. Uh, let's have a look at the veg. I yeah. mean, uh, this is some of the uh, this is some of the surplus veg. What is surplus veg? Yes. Ted's uh, trade at about uh, 20, just over 20 markets over the weekend. Right. Um, and it's stuff which, um, so these are, these are perfect, they're wonderful, but yeah. the, the greens at the top are a bit kind of yellowing. And these are absolutely perfect yeah, to eat. Yeah, lovely. Um, so, you know, surplus veg uh, isn't stuff that just goes in the bin, it's stuff that can absolutely be eaten straight away. Uh, you know, it's all about taking excess veg or surplus veg and making sure that it goes to the right place. We're here with Fred um, from St Mungo's, uh, yeah. so uh, I guess the best big question is what's your link with Plan Z? Yeah. Well, they just, you know, they come in, they give us food, they'll, they'll come in on a Saturday, it's a chance for the residents to maybe get hold of a nutritious meal, mm -hmm. um, which is really good. The thing they're doing today for us, and all this food is going to be served at our diversity day tomorrow, right. so that'll probably provide a, a, a meal for up to sort of 100 people, hopefully, which is a brilliant way to support that, that event, which is very important to some mongos. Thai green curry, uh, really, really simple. In two hours, we cook for 100 people. Walk for 1,000, we cook over 1,000 meals. Uh, what more could you ask for? I'm Lottie Henley. I live in West London, and I started Plan Zero about 12 years ago. Uh, on this very kitchen table, I somehow thought of an interactive map to help food. Food is something that we all desperately need. So at 80 years old, you decided to yes. build an interactive online map to fight Google food. did it, I did nothing. <laughs> I had the idea. Okay, it cost us 500 pounds. The idea from when Lottie had the concept of it has evolved quite a bit. So we first had just a very static map of food donors and food receivers uh, online. Mm -hmm. And now it's involved, it evolved into an online platform, a social network. Mm -hmm. Now we have over 200 businesses and over 200 charities registered on the platform, mostly in London. Hundreds of volunteers as well. Mm -hmm. And we're doing about five tons a month of food through the platform. So that's the equivalent of 10,000 meals for people that are supported by charities, um, work, supporting mostly vulnerable people. When we met at Walk for 1000 yes, yes. last year, yes. um, you told me uh, a little bit more about your actual childhood. We were well fed, there was nothing wrong with us, we had money, until um, the, the war. And then during the war it became, no, even during the war we had food. I had no food when I was being taken to Germany because I'd unfortunately been a German nurse with an Italian passport right. which makes you as a, a collaborator sure. and you ought to be killed. I was taken to uh, Germany with uh, many other people who were refugees and then put into unfortunately a Russian camp. Now these people didn't really like us. I ate, no I didn't eat pebbles but I suddenly sucked pebbles and I had a very big leather belt which I put around my waist because actually if you reduce the size of your stomach mm. and there's nothing in it anyway, yes. it hurts less. So it sticks with you for the, for, for the rest of your life? Absolutely. I yeah. don't go to the post office without a sandwich. Right. I may not eat it, but I have got it. Sure. I'm so aware that this is my life. Sure. Without food, I have no life. There's so much stuff being thrown away yes. now, which we've yes. seen this morning. Yes. Uh, at, at Borough Market, if, if it wasn't picked up by um, you know companies uh, and charities like yourselves, it just wouldn't it work. Would, yeah. It wouldn't work. Um, yes. It was that deep hunger 
and um, you don't forget it about it. It's just, it just it stays. As you can see, the knock-on effect of helping Plan Z heroes spreads across many other charities. The support you give through events like Walk for a Thousand can be appreciated more.